Hey guys, what is up? I'm the Bomb93, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Sonic Generations. And you might think this is weird coming from me, who absolutely hates it. But lately, I I bought the uh, PC version of Sonic Generations on sale, mind you. But I thought, you know, a lot of people are saying this is a really good game, so I'm going to give it a second chance on a different console. Maybe it's a little bit better. And I realized. When I was playing on the PS3 version, that the lag, the con it's a controller input lag versus an actual. I don't know what they did, but our controller input just seems a bit slower than that of a actual controller. So I'm just gonna give brief thoughts about both versions. Um, they're the exact same game. I mean the. PS3 one has a little bit of this classic Sonic, gen, classic Sonic, Sonic one inside of the game, and the P PC version doesn't. And the PC version is a more direct port of the Xbox 360 version, which is a good version itself. So, that being said, Sonic in the PS3 version, yes, there is a bit of controller input. And modern Sonic does feel a bit sl a bit laggy for response, and you know, I mean, they probably use the Xbox 360 as the base console, which PC actually ports well over to because they use the Direct X, even though they use about the same processor as a Mac. Now that's kind of weird for me to say, but they use PowerPC architecture inside of the Xbox 360, but. I mean, it ports over well because they were using DirectX API. I mean, the DirectX API is a very good design. If you want to port from Xbox 360 over to PC, it's really easy to do that. However, when it goes over to PS, when it went over to PS3, it wasn't so easy. I mean, but however, Sonic, Sonic Generations just play a whole lot better on PC. Um, so. Actually, I'd have to give Sonic Generations on PS3 this is about a 7. Now, hold on. Before you say, wait, what's the PC version? I want to mention this. There's only a point less than the PC version because of the controller input lag. Like, they're almost the exact same game. They look just as nice. I'm pretty sure I played both the Green Hill Zone. I forgot how fast the Green Hill Zone you can be even with the PS3 input lag. Um... So that's really cool. Um, the PC version is an 8 out of 10. The story could be a bit better, but it's not actually terrible at all. Um, yeah, so anyways, guys, with that being said, would I play a PS3 version? No. Would I buy a PS3 version again? No. I'd buy, if I were, if you were to look at a used game store for a version of Sonic Generations, I'd say either go to Steam and buy it off the Steam store, or find the Xbox 360 version because those are two versions that are going to give you the least input lag. I'm not so sure about the Xbox 360 version, but it seems with the Microsoft architecture that that would very well be the case. Um, oh yeah, there there was a glitch. Uh, there there are a few glitches still with this game, but I mean they're not game breaking like. If you go out of your way in Sonic 06 or Sonic Boom, which is the whole game, which is a glitch, and yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that is my time for today, guys. Uh, be sure to check out my full review on Need for Speed No Limits and other reviews. If you go click on my site, be sure to hit that red like subscribe button. I make new videos uh, once in a while. <laughs> I mean, there are times where I'm busy with school and I can't make a new video, but. At the same time, I hope hopefully game industry will be up soon. I'm looking for photos right now, and uh, yeah. So, until next time, guys, as always, be sure to like my social media, hit that subscribe button, and as always, stay bombing.